If you are a streamer and you want to enhance your USB microphone, like this one right here, the HyperX Quadcast, best place to do this is in OBS Studio using the Virtual Studio technology, which is the VST uh, plugins that use a audio software interface to customize your audio. But if you have or planning to buy any of those microphones from the Elgato, the Wave 1 or like this one, the Wave 3, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add VST plugins to the Wave Link software using the new updates that Elgato is about to release very soon. Welcome to Radio Bro Gamer. My name is Rodrigo. And if you're new on this channel, you like the contents over here, don't forget to subscribe and also to click on the bell for getting notifications when we post a new content, a new video, or when we're going live. And by talking about going live, we also stream on Twitch and also YouTube. The description below have our schedule. Just for don't forget to check us out over there if you like to see and if you like to see some gameplays, that is pretty cool. Also, if you have any questions about any tutorial on this channel, don't forget we have a Discord and also Guilted server. You can reach us over there and actually you can talk to me if you need any help further to any tutorial on this channel. So we'll go to waving microphones are if you not one of the best USB microphones out there, the Wave 1 in the wave three offers a really good sound for your streams. What really makes this product so much more in value is the software that comes with the wave link. The wave link does offer a very easy way to separate your audio, just like voice meter. If you're familiar with to add it to your OBS studio. A couple months ago in this channel, I did a video about how you can improve and sound like a pro on this HyperX podcast and we use a, a VST plugins and in my opinion one of the best VST plugins to enhance those type of microphone into OBS. If you didn't see that video we're gonna put it right here in the top of this video a card so you can click over there and check it out that video but in today's video we're going to use those plugins inside the Wavelink software. What that means is Putting those VST plugins inside the Wavelink software, your enhanced microphone or customization microphone audio is going to be before getting to OBS, before getting into Discord, and before getting into a game chat, meaning that you can use all those nice audio for all those outputs before getting out of Wavelink. All right, so we're right here on OBS Studio, and I just first I want to show you that uh, it's captured right now this audio that you hear the Elgat Wave 3 microphone without any plugin, without any effect, it's just like if you just put in an OBS. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you right here in the f under filters. If you can look over here, um, that's no uh, filters applied. This is usually the filters that I show on the video. If you want to check it out, the video that I applied, the these filters on the Wavelink on OBS, just the way it's right here. Just check in the card and below uh, on the top of the video right here. Um, actually, uh, that's nothing going on here, so no effects. Uh, so basically, what you see is the sound from this microphone raw, and that's it. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to open the, uh, we're going to open the, uh, the wave link. Um, first thing for you to actually edit some plugins, you need to actually tell wave link where the plugins are on your computer. And it usually, usually is going to be on your, um, C drive, uh, C drive and also on profiles and you're going to scroll down you're going to probably see a folder that say VST plugins and your plugins probably is going to be right here so what you do um, you're just going to go over here on the little uh, uh, on the little um, uh, settings open preference settings right here and then you're going to go to audios effects and you're going to directly that folder right there once you direct that folder you just click here scan rescan plugins and you should be able to pick it up all your vst plugins from there okay and then once that happened once that happened you're gonna see 
those new things right here in the bottle, which is the, where you're gonna add those VST plugin. This is a new thing right here for the, the for the update. The uh, before the update, we don't have that. So what you're going to do, you're gonna click it, and you're already gonna see that I already added some uh, plugins already here, which is these plugins that I use on OBS. So to add it is just simply just click the plus sign and you go and if you scan everything if you when after you scan it's gonna show some plugins for you you're gonna go ahead and uh, put any plugins that you already have in your system uh, on your microphone so right now as you can hear there's no plugins at all even that's on right now is because it's uh, OBS is picking up directly from the microphone so it's not passing through the wavelength software so this right here in the bottle is where it's picking up from the software wavelength and you go now you're gonna see the difference between the the microphone itself and the plugin so i'm gonna mute and now you can hear uh, a very different uh, different quality of the sound this is come from the wavelength which is uh basically the um, right here the wavelength you can see that's picking up it's coming directly from here going to the OBS Studio. That means that you don't have to have the plugins anymore in OBS Studio using this software. You just put everything here on the uh, on the um, uh, the wavelength. Uh, and if I turn off, I'm gonna turn off so you can take a look. But it's gonna be sound weird. Probably it's gonna sound in one ear. This is right here is without the the effects. You probably can hear it on one side. I don't know. This is probably could be a bug or something. But when you put everything uh, the same, um, it was normalized and everything. I don't know. There's a couple of things that they need to fix. I'm sure this is a beta. There's like a lot of things that, that bugs or anything that had to be fixed. But this is how to put it in. Actually, this is fantastic. And also, uh, you can directly this to your Discord or a game chat. Game chat um with the effects and everything so it is, it is a pretty cool um it is very nice uh, i think this is a really going to help a lot of people to use this um software with the wave 3 uh it's fantastic i think it's pretty cool you should check it out if you are on, on the way to buy a usb um i highly recommend this one because it offers so much more than just the microphone and uh and 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 yeah um uh, another thing is also the ndi i don't have i've installed any di yet on my this computer right here but on the uh on the wave link you can actually when you install any di on your computer here and your gaming pc you can transfer sound from your gaming pc to this software right here to the wave link and then go and push back to uh the obs studio so it can stream from there so yeah so this is uh the new update with the vst plugins to enhance your microphone on wavelink software all right i hope this video i could help you to show you how easy it is to put the vst plugins on the wavelink software and also the NDI that's going to be coming out as well, which is going to be able to send your audio to another PC using the NDI, which is fantastic. So I believe this upgrade is going to be really awesome. And if you need any questions, anything, just let me know. I hope you like this video. I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one.